sitting next to a woman older than Mother Earth on the subway. She pulls out a needle and thread and begins to knit. She turns toward me and asks, why are you the way you are? She wants to pull the conscious thoughts out of my mind because she can tell there's a time capsule in there begging to be open and have its content spread over the earth like ashes. She tells me to talk. And wrinkles lining her face, a sign of beauty and attained grace, cause identity to come to the cerebral cortex of my brain and provide me with the will to explain. I am a thread of experiences spiraling to form a helix, my DNA. So when people ask whether nature or nurture made me this way, my words don't bitch press enough to have the muscle to say whether the smell of rain made me despise math or my mother's will made my ostensibly ridiculous laugh. I am the son of pleases and thank you, sirs and ma'ams, cornbread and black eyed peas, no socks and scuffed up knees. I am the voice of ferocious bear, the six foot tall stuffed animal, my friend when I had none. I am a shadow. A shadow of my cousin Isaac, who could weave baskets filled with stories with his words and tease threads of laughter with his smile. I am a shadow of my best friend Isaac, who could definitely design the one pattern that would allow the tense thread of bottle tells inside me to loosen. I am a shadow of a soldier, Isaac whose death needle a term in Afghanistan couldn't dull, whose delicate precision was not deterred by receiving the letter that would be sent back for a second term in Afghanistan despite being told he would never have to serve again. I am the shadow of a soul, Isaac, whose soul remained together despite only having a few weeks before he had to return to the Middle East when three straight bullets pierced that God-given design and pulled the red thread of his heart to the end of the line. I am the shadow of Isaac that continues to sow every inch of substance that ever comes undone in my soul. Back together. Shadow of the only person who makes this thread that has written the code for my flesh even exist. So I tell the woman that I am nothing more or less than a thread of stories waiting to be unraveled underneath the microscope. Or even by the naked eye. <laughs>